We're here with uh, Jason Terry. First of all, I want to say thank you, man, for inviting us out for the weekend. It's been great for us to see you work with these kids and kind of get them on their road and talk a little bit about the tournament itself. I know you guys want to win it all, but you got to be proud of what they did so far. Oh, we're very proud of the girls. Uh, obviously, they worked tremendously hard throughout the season uh, to get prepared for this big stage, and the big stage is nationals. Uh, at the eighth grade level, you're going into high school, so this is a time where college coaches are able to look at you right. and you have an opportunity to uh, not only further your education but further your basketball career and what we stress and emphasize to our girls is hard work dedication right. hard work and dedication is going to take you a long way results wins and losses we want to win obviously we're very competitive right. but at the end of the day did you work hard and are you dedicated? Right. And that's what we expect out of all our girls. Let me ask you a quick question about your career. It's taking a little turn of, of its own. You're going to be leaving Dallas and going to Boston, correct? Yes, I am. I mean, I had a great time. I, I look back at it and say, if I never went through what I went through in Dallas, would I be where I am today? Right. And I don't think so. You know, God has blessed me with the ability to play a long uh illustrious career you know I was in Dallas eight years played with some great teammates uh, and had a great coach and a great owner but yeah. I, but what the city right. meant to me right. is priceless uh, without them I'm nothing the jet was born in Dallas <laughs> right there in Dallas so I always have a home in Dallas right. hopefully when I'm done I can go back right. and uh, end my career there well, I, I want to ask you first, why Boston was the fact that they offered you the deal? Is yeah. that where you wanted to go? Or? No question. Uh, not many offers out there. I don't know why, but uh, we had about three teams that were looking at me. Uh, Dallas didn't come to the table. Right. Uh, Boston was the first person to call me uh, at 11, 11 01. Yeah. And Doc Rivers got on the phone. He said, we need you. You're our number one priority. Had I got that same phone call from Dallas, yeah. I'd still be a Dallas Maverick. But I didn't, so I'm on to bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. And hopefully with that team, with the way they are structured right now, yeah. we have another chance to win a championship. Are you surprised at all that you didn't get the call or they didn't try to match the offer? Was it? Yeah, very surprised. Uh, very surprised. You know, what I was able to do for the uh, organization and in the community, I thought they would bring me back. Yeah. And uh, they didn't. So it's life. Mm -hmm. uh, some I teach to my girls too. Right. I mean, things happen in life that you have to deal with. It may not always go your way, but God always puts you in a position right. where He wants you. Right. And then your blessings will come to fruition. Well, I know we've both been in Orlando for the last week, but Dallas is going crazy right now. They don't know what they're going to do. You have anything to say to the fans? Because they, no matter what happens, they want you to come back. They want to put your jersey in the rafters. Yeah. You know, anything to say to them that now kind of they're all over everywhere. One now. All I want to tell the fans in Dallas is that I love you. I appreciate all your hard work, all your support. Uh, we couldn't have accomplished the things we accomplished in Dallas without you. But they got to pay when we come to town because their big green machine is coming to town soon, baby. And uh, it's going to be fun. But I, I look forward to it. And uh, hopefully I can do great things in Boston and have a good career there. Well, good luck in Boston again. Thanks again for allowing us to tag along, man. It's been yes, great. Sir. I want to thank you. And again, uh, Dallas.